All right, and we're live. It's 8.30, Friday, the 28th of May, 2021. A tornado warning has been issued for Fayette County. We've also got a tornado warning up in northwest Texas. Uh, I shouldn't say northwest Texas. It's more west Texas, but we'll do that in a minute. Make sure our streams are live on multiple platforms. Looks like we're on Facebook and we're on the YouTube. So, again, we're going to focus on the most intense thunderstorms at this time. Uh, you can keep an eye on all the storms across the state or in your area with the interactive weather radar on the Texas Storm Chasers website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. We've got a new tornado warning for Fayette County that does include the city of LaGrange. One moment, please, while I play Switch the Radar Sites. It's going to be a possible rain-wrapped tornado along with significant straight-line winds near LaGrange moving east at 35. This includes LaGrange, Fayetteville, Warrington, O'Quinn, Rabs, Prairie, Ellinger, Plum, Walhalla, Willow Springs, Reek Hill, West Point, Mullins, Prairie, and Haldman. And again, this is actually going to be very near LaGrange. So if you're in LaGrange, you need to go ahead and take your tornado safety precautions immediately. That'll be the lowest floor. Center room away from windows. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Switching over to the which way the winds blow mode, you can see we do have a circulation showing up on the southwest side of LaGrange. It's going to be coming up on Highway 77 and Highway 71. We've got winds moving about 40 towards the radar, winds moving away at about 30. That's how you end up with about a 70 mile per hour gate to gate circulation. We also have a tornado warning up in Bailey and Palmer counties in West Texas. Uh, looks like this is that's going to be with the circulation that'll pass just south of Molshu in Highway 84, but could be a threat to Sedan and Littlefield here in a bit. But for now, we'll focus on this thunderstorm in LaGrange, bringing significant damaging straight-line winds and the potential for a quick rain-wrapped tornado. We do note there is widespread flash flooding ongoing in the city of Austin and Travis County. A lot of roads are flooded, just like we talked about earlier. When you get a quick two inches of rain in like 30 minutes, it's going to take time for the water to drain out. So don't be an idiot and go drive in flooded roadways. Let's be honest, some of you already have, and we've already heard a few reports of that. So turn around, don't drown, or total out your vehicle. All right, LaGrange, you're getting pounded right now with heavy rain, heavy wind, heavy rain, the potential for a rain-wrapped tornado. Uh, that storm and its damaging straight-line winds will continue moving east at about 35 miles per hour towards Fayetteville on Highway 159. We've got a severe thunderstorm southeast of Odessa, south of Midland. This will be staying south of Interstate 20 moving towards Highway 137 and Highway 158. Let's go back up in West Texas. We'll take a look at the Squall Line. And folks, I understand. I'm going to mispronounce some of these towns. Apparently, last stream, a bunch of y'all got upset. I'm sorry, but you know what? You've probably heard it the way I'm saying it. You may not like it, but tough cookies. I really don't care. All right, folks, I'm talking weather information. If you want to get mad at me because I'm mispronouncing a town name, frankly, there is far more things in the world you can get mad at, all right? Trust me. I've got a list of town names people send afterwards that I try and work on. But here's the tornado warning until 845. This is going to be south of Farwell, south of Molshu. Highway 84 will switch over to the which way the wind is blowing mode. You can see, frankly, this is more of a damaging straight line wind threat than a tornado threat. This is going to be damaging straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour moving towards Sudan, Littlefield, Morton, Whiteface. Eventually, it'll make its way towards Anton, Loveland, Loveland, whatever, Smear, and the city of Lubbock by probably 10 p.m. And this line of thunderstorms will is actually quite impressive in terms of a bow structure. When I say bow echo, this is what I mean. You've got your bow shape coming up, the apex of the bow coming up on 214 now, kind of uh, retreats west, northwest to Molshu. And then you see that little comma on top of this bow echo. That is a comma head where we can, in addition to see damaging straight line winds, we can sometimes see brief tornado spin-ups. Again, it will, we're probably going to have 
multiple brief tornadoes spin up with this little bow echo as it moves southeast over the next two hours. Those tornadoes would likely have similar strength to the straight line winds we're seeing, which are all over the place in this blue um, coloring here. Uh, Radar is indicating winds 60 to 70 miles per hour. So that's making its way down towards, well, Morden. Here, I'll just read the list. Sudan, 858. Amherst, Amherst, 905. Leveland, 912. Littlefield, 912. Sundown, 914. So, probably about mm, 10 p.m. for the city of Lubbock. A little sooner on the west, a little later in the east. And then we've got storms in eastern New Mexico that are farther southwest. Those will be moving into uh, Plains, Brownfield, Seagraves, Seminole by 10 p.m. most likely. And then, well, that'll probably honestly make its way towards the northern Permian Basin. Again, we've got storms capable of producing hail back around San Marcos, New Braunfels again. Heavy rain, potential for some quarter-sized hail. Wind gusts up to 55, 60 miles per hour in spots. Flash flooding will also be an issue. We've got storms from near Bandera to Kerrville to Leakey. Lakey, whatever. I know I mispronounced that last time and someone got upset. Sorry. Uh, these storms are moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. It'll make its way down to Highway 90. Yulvade. I know I'm saying that right. Yulvade. Um, Hondo Castroville. West side to the San Antonio Metro. Little Bell Echo complex of thunderstorms from northeast of Flatonia. Up to LaGrange, capable of producing brief tornadoes, straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour in spots in addition to flash flooding. So we're going to have to keep an eye on these storms again. These thunderstorms in progress across the eastern hill country to the southern Brazos Valley should be moving southeast towards the coastal plain, south central Texas over the next few hours. Storms across West Texas will move southeast into the city of Lubbock around 10 p.m. and then towards the northern Permian Basin by midnight. So we'll keep an eye on things here with the Texas Storm Chasers weather radar. You can view it for yourself on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar or in our free mobile app. We'll be back if necessary, and I'm sure we will be. So I'm David Reimer at the Texas Storm Chasers. Stay weather aware tonight, folks, and remember, flooded roadways are difficult to see at night. Be very careful if you're heading out and about an area that's gotten heavy rain this evening. Remember, turn around, don't drown, or total out your vehicle.